Hello and welcome back to episode 4 of Egypt in Victoria 3, where we're playing as Egypt in Victoria 3. As you can see, we have grown quite a bit at this point. Um, we even have the state of Chad under our control. Um, we have all we need to form... Oh, hold on, wrong button. To form Arabia. Um, we are just missing... Um, Pan-nationalism, which um, is a little ways away. We could push for it right now already, but it would take 11 years for us to reach it. So instead, I am opting to research the texts that are the tier above, because once you get these researched, it takes less time to research those texts. So that is my plan. Uh, we are doing a little bit of colonization. I think I'm going to add colonies here and here. Not looking to go too out there, but I do think colonizing these locations makes sense for us. They are connected to us. They are part of Inner Africa. Uh, the European powers won't have access to them, so there's that as well. Uh, we could look to move up our um, institution, but that would requ require us to upgrade our bureaucracy. Uh, we are building a couple more government administrations already. But we do have some access issues. Uh, let's make sure our artillery is up to snuff. And I think... Oh, we want to build the Suez Canal, definitely. And we'll also throw on some railways. Getting railway networks out here will be a big boost for our country. So having a way to transport our goods to those far-off locations is going to be useful. Um, I believe we are... Let's see where we're at with our infamy. Our infamy is not bad. Uh, we do have a, a young ruler right now. Um, our Sultan Muhammad did pass away. I did miss that, but now we have the landowners. Is his uh, is his favored um, people. Uh, looking at government reform options, uh, we could go for a couple different options, but I think what we have is working. Uh, we are currently attempting to switch to appointed bureaucrats. That'll give us a little bit better um, taxation. Uh, Trucial Coast is having a revolt. And we have been keeping an eye on it. Hopefully it will be over soon. So that... Oh, we could actually already go for these guys. Um... We'll wait for that revolt to be over, and then we can go for them. Now, we do currently have a truce with the Ottomans, but let's go ahead and rival them. That'll be good for us. And uh, let's get time rolling a little bit. Uh, there is not much major we can go for. So, we're not really going to push for too much. I would like to get ourselves a defensive pact with one of these greater powers, but that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, let's see here. Oh, we did have rivalry with Sakota. Let's get that back. Uh, the more influence, the better. Uh, Alliance-wise, Greece, Algeria, Tunis, Warsingali. No one major, so... If anything, I would want to form a defensive pact with some of these people, but... I don't think we need too many of those either. Warsingali wants an alliance with us. I don't think so. We're going to avoid that for the time being. Uh, we even have Demogram. So if we start going to these people, we're going to start having um, access. And some of these greater powers could get into our way. Um, we have, like I said, everything here. We are just waiting for the Trucial States... Wait, what's this war for? Oh, they're trying to annex them? We're gonna try and vassalize these guys. Um, it's kind of frustrating.
Um, Austria is supporting them. We could bring in... That's funny. Let's bring in Prussia. No. Uh, but we could bring in somebody else with them. You know, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about the Austrians being there. Um... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and push everywhere we can, get in here. Go from three different angles. It shouldn't take us too long to take these guys. I guess the Prussians backed off on that? That's weird. I don't know what was going on there, but, uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to get this territory for myself. Uh, we will take a university, definitely. That'll help our country grow. Uh, we could go ahead and do a tobacco tax and maybe even a luxury furniture tax. Just try and keep our income a little more stable. I don't want to go too overboard with them, but... Struggling to get this through. We do have some support to ban slavery. And I think that's actually a good idea. We're definitely going to want to get that taken care of. There we go. We got ourselves another vassal. So we now control the entire Arabian Peninsula. Which is absolutely perfect for me. I'm very happy to do that. Um, if we check it out, our infamy is still in good shape. Kind of want to save that up for our next war with the Ottomans. Um, it does look like the Ottomans have lost their vassals. So we're going to want to start damaging our relations with these boys. And with these boys, we want to get into there quickly. They are clo located close to us, so... Um, definitely getting them under our control is going to be useful. Wow, they really liked us, though. That's okay. That's A-OK -okay with me. We can make this work. What are we looking at here, Greece? Uh, you want a trade agreement? We'll take a trade agreement. Do you want to become my tributary or join my customs union? I could go for... Oh, they would just accept this. Let's do that. So they're now in our customs union. Perfect. Make into tributary. Probably not. Boiler explosion, that's no bueno. I'll probably go with the industrialist. We'll decide with them. Enactment success chance is going to go down. That's not good. I really want this law to go through. We've got modern sewage now. Um, we should push for um, quinine because that will help us with our um, colonization. Aristocrat aristocratic revolt here. Uh, we'll send an army down to deal with that. Should be pretty straightforward for a minute. Um, oh yeah, we're struggling to pass this. Let's let's cancel this. Uh, let's take a look at our government. Yeah, we are now at unacceptable, huh? That's not good. That's going to make it much harder to pass. Probably swap to these two. And yeah, if we throw anyone else in, that's going to be very problematic for us. So we'll just swap to these two for now. And then check out our laws. We can try and ban slavery. So let's do that. I think banning slavery is a good idea. It'll open up more workforce for us. Um... Oh, did, is the Suez Canal built? Look at that, it is currently hiring so 
we'll see where that gets to. Um, we still have low market access in these areas down here. So a little bit more railway is probably not a bad idea. Let's try upgrading some of this stuff first. And we'll go for like two more of those. Try and get this area um, in a much better shape for us. This war should end quickly. And realistically, we are waiting for our next chance to go after the Ottoman Empire. Uh, 1861 is that chance, and at that point, I will probably just try and get Thrace under our control. Uh, we definitely want to ban slavery, so let's try and get this taken care of. Uh, we've taken care of that minor revolution. Uh, we could come over here, potentially. They are on good relations with us, though, so maybe not. Um, I can really just stop doing this. Maybe we'll go ahead and annex these guys. A little bit more um, area under our control isn't a bad thing. Send one army down there to deal with that annexation. That'll also give us a border with Sokoto. Now, if we were to attack them, Benin has sided with them. That's not really an issue for me. Oh, they just surrendered. Okay, good. Go ahead and incorporate that state. Oh, these states stopped incorporating because I was... Um, because they rebelled. So that'll happen. Now, if I was to go and make these guys a vassal, that's a lot more infamy, so... I don't think we want to do anything like that. Not really much of a reason to even go to war with them. So we won't do anything there. We're just kind of at this point waiting for our truce to end. We can go ahead and declare some more interest though. Um, there's not really anywhere else that I'm interested in. We could like throw one on Italy for now just in case they jump in. We could maybe do something with them, but I doubt it. We have a mining accident. I say we continue to just boost the industrialists. We're going to want them to get into power shortly. Let's try and gamble, and we did get it. The better success chance, so that is good. Uh, we can take a look at our market and just see what is expensive. Coal is very expensive. So is transportation, so are clothes, iron, or steel, weapons, la di da Yeah, we're going to need to do some more building. So let's definitely make sure our textile mills are working to their highest capacity. Um, we don't really have the lead to upgrade our glass production, so we can't really do much there. Uh, we are going to want to increase our coal production if possible. We'll build two more coal mines. Uh, we can also build ourselves... What, another steel mill? There... Uh, slaughterhouses will net us some more meat, so more food for our people. Darfur is still struggling with its capacity, and so is Lower Egypt. So let's try and build up some more government administration in Lower Egypt. We'll bring it up to 15, see if that's enough. Uh, we do have states in turmoil, quite a few actually. So maybe we should do some violent suppression in some of these newer states just to get these people under control. Uh, Darfur, Chad. At least those two for now. Uh, maybe up here. 
could just get these people some more stuff rolling as well. Let's get them some more jobs. Slavery has been banned, so we're good there. Uh, we might want to start schooling our people, so let's look to do that. Getting a little bit of education rolling wouldn't be a bad idea, I don't think. Uh, we are getting closer and closer to our troops being up with the Ottomans. September 1861, so we still got a little while on that, though. Um, if I were to, for instance, well, first off, paper bleaching. More paper is definitely going to be useful for us, and I think doing some water tube boilers there is also a good idea. Um, but if we upgrade this to standardized filing system, we have the paper to do it. That'll really boost our bureaucracy. And then, um, let's see, water tube boiler here is going to be very useful. Reinforced wooden chips. We still don't have enough engines to do that, so. I'm going to build up some more of those and see we have a lot more peasants now that we've uh, freed the slaves so that's going to be useful for us high tension between Egypt and New Era I would very much like for that to happen uh, diplomatic play between Alsa and Welga. That's fine. I don't care to get involved in that. Cult enact cultural exclusion, huh? What are we currently at? Oh, we currently have national supremacy. Cultural exclusion could be helpful. Uh, the Sunni would not like it, neither would the petit bourgeoisie. Alsa would give us an obligation. So, Alsa is currently in a customs union with us. They're pretty close to becoming our tributary. That obligation might be enough to do it. So, yeah, sure. I'll help you guys out. I'll send one army down. Now, uh, let's focus on curriculum. I just want to get that law through. We are at 1861, so we're waiting for September now, so we can attack the Ottomans again. How is my relations with Austria? Not good. Probably build up with these guys, too. That war's broken out. Um... An affair, huh? I don't really care about them. Whatever. Yeah, this push should be quick and easy. Our army is very strong. Pharmaceuticals unlocked. That'll let us go down to... Kinin, which will help with colonization. Yeah, we're going to keep pushing. I want these religious schools to happen. I do apologize, uh, I had to put a cut into my video, so we lost um, a couple days of recording. It was, I believe, April 8th, so we lost like about a month. Um, something happened. I, I just, um, so anyway, I'm going to just continue the video from here. So we're still working on enacting religious goals. Um, we are waiting for our truce to be up with the Ottoman Empire, which is... Um, uh, da, 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 da. it is, is it over? No, there it is. Uh, September 29th. So we're waiting until September 29th. We can attack the Ottomans again. Uh, let's just get time rolling. Uh, we are helping what, with a war down here. Um, it is going well. It's almost over. Oh, 
Oh, wait, we lost that? No, we won it. That's who I helped, right? Yeah. Oh, we're so close. Oh, and I guess I can't support them financially because I'm not a great power. Uh, we do have religious schools now, so that is going to be helpful. I'm going to go ahead and boost up our colonialism institution and maybe even our law enforcement a bit. Just to start with that, um, we're still building what we need built. Uh, we do have some states in turmoil. Uh, we can actually... We're doing violent suppression there. Where else were we doing violent suppression? Hejaz and Konya. Hejaz, Konya, Chad. Oh, I guess we're just doing it in Chad right now. So... Maybe we'll do a little bit in Hejaz as well, just to get these, um... Rebels a little bit more under control. Oh, Russia started colonizing down here. October, September. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, so... I go for a conquer state against them. Russia's the only major power that could even join. Uh, my infamy is non existent. I could also just go straight for Thrace. Go ahead and declare this, and we could even see if we could bring Russia onto our side through some means. If I give them a treaty port, like in Albania, would that be good enough for them? Okay, so we brought Russia in on our side, and then I also would like to conquer, if possible, Northern Thrace and Western Thrace. That is going to give me quite a bit of infamy yeah 71 but we're still not over a hundred and having the Russians is gonna make this a little bit easier let's go ahead and line some troops up on these borders They back down, so we end up getting Eastern Thrace, which is more than enough for me. Uh, that'll give us much less infamy. Still quite a bit, though. We are going to incorporate that immediately. That is, that's going to be very, very useful. Well, that's actually a good idea. Let's promote national values in these areas. Maybe that'll help get these people under our control as well. But yeah, so that's huge getting Eastern Thrace. That's a big chunk of our war targets. 
Let's make sure we're improving relations with the Russians and with the Austrians. But yeah, that's another huge step towards our goal. Um, I believe we're also going to need Western and Northern Thrace as well. And we'll probably take Huda Vendigar um, to make our empire contiguous at the very least. Uh, we are going to want to go through and get all of this stuff upgraded that we can. Get some China going. Uh, water tube boilers will help out a little bit. Reinforced wooden ships we're going to go for. We'll go for smooth bore cannons. Public trams. Uh, we would have a transportation shortage, so we're not going to do that. Gas lights, we would have a coal shortage. Market squares, we would have a glass shortage. Uh, standardized filing systems would make us have a paper shortage, so we definitely need to upgrade our infrastructure quite a bit more. We are going to want to make sure we're getting all of this stuff going. We could look to do some rail transportation to some of these goods. Um, it would help a little bit. Uh, reducing laborers at the very least. But we shouldn't be having issues with laborers, at least at the moment. Alright, so what else do we want to build, potentially? Glass and small arms are very expensive, so we need to solve that. Um, glass we can solve by building some more lead mines. We don't have a whole lot of options for them, though. And then small arms. Getting up the rifling would be useful. We'll go ahead and build up two more small arms plants. Hopefully that'll help us out enough. But yeah, now we are definitely going to be chilling. We're going to let our infamy die down quite a bit. And we're going to do what we can to make um, countries around us much more happy with us. Our colonial affairs investment has jumped up, as has our uh, law enforcement. Um, we're definitely going to keep boosting that, since we have so much turmoil in our country. We'll do a little bit of violent suppression in Eastern Thrace, too. We just want to make sure that they stay nice and loyal. Italy wishes to enter a trade agreement with us? Let's do it. Uh, Market-wise, we should look to import some of these goods that we're short on. So... Uh, let's go with the Tuscan market. It's going to cost a little bit of bureaucracy, but in the British market as well. And the Italian market, it's free anyway. Uh, what else were we a little short on? What paper? Get some paper from the Italians. What else is super expensive? Furniture, paper, tools, coal. We, we have quite a few things we need, so tools. Uh, we can go with the Italian market as well. Paper. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in some from these markets as well. Just whatever is going to help us out a little bit. Uh, tools, we can go from the Austrian market also. That should help us out quite a bit. Uh, furniture. Uh, the French, the Italian market, the Russian market. Is that helping our market level out at all? Maybe a little bit? We need a lot of furniture. Holy moly. And a lot of tolls.
build up some more furniture factories, build up some more tooling workshops. We'll just give those nice big boosts and see where we can go from there. Our income is moderate, but uh, we are doing what we can to help it out. We do have expensive military goods. We have some unproductive trade routes. Let's go ahead and drop those off. Overall, though, I don't think we're in a bad position. We are losing quite a bit of money at the moment. Um, oh, we should enact some new laws. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, um, enact cultural exclusion. That'll help us out with accepted cultures and loyalists. But it's going to reduce our authority by quite a bit, by about 100. So that's going to be a little rough for us. Uh, we can just go ahead and... Um, we will get rid of, like, one of these violent suppressions, I think. We'll get rid of the violent suppression in chat. We'll just let that go. That'll get us positive again. We're in good shape there. But I think that's a good place to end the video. So if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.